I have cleaned the evil twin up and it looks good the evil twin then in it came out pretty darn nice I'm gonna do the valve adjustment on it now I'm gonna take this cover off and then the starter cover check the, any debris in there and then take the valve cover off and I'm gonna do this inside because it's gonna rain any moment now so I gotta take a few things off to get the cover off. We gotta take the gas tank off. I've already taken the side chute off because give me access to the cover as well. And uh, get all the debris cleaned out of this before I take this valve cover off. And the cover is off. Doesn't look too bad and it pulls easy. Don't really see a problem with pulling this. doesn't really look that dirty here. Got a little bit of debris. I'm going to clean all this off and tie off the blade brake and then get the spark plug out and take this valve cover off. These are 3-8 bolts. It'll take me a few minutes to take these off. I want to try to save this gasket. Hard to tell if this has ever been off before bolts were tight. Matter of fact, I don't believe that cover's ever been off. All the bolts were tight. Okay, so here we go. Bolts are out. And I'm going to be very careful taking this off. So like I say, I want to save that gasket. And I think it came off pretty darn easy. A little bit of oil. Not bad in here. A little, a little dirty. Not bad valves look pretty clean and here just gonna spin this around a bit the real truth is now can I get these lock screws in they're like Torx Like we got that one. And that one clicked. So I think we're good to go here to get this adjusted. That's the difficult part, getting those little inner lock screws out. So I'm really happy I could get these torque screws loosened in here. But what I'm going to do now is just check what the measurements are for the intake and the exhaust. And how you do that is this. You find top dead center and you put them, use your favorite drinking straw. Mark that as you put that in the hole. I got it top dead center now. And then crank it down a quarter of an inch, which I've done. And this is your adjustment. And I can look at these and tell they are way off. You can adjust both of these same time. I've got this set up as a 14 feeler gauge and it's uh it's going in each one. So that definitely would make a problem starting. So now I'm gonna do the adjustment on these. So here are the engine specs for this. This is the 120k model. Intake 005007 exhaust 007009. We'll start with the intake first. So we're gonna make a happy medium for the intake. We're gonna put this at six. Gonna tighten this down. Get it snug. And we'll go back and forth and check this a few times, but this is kind of the way we do it. And then we tighten this torque screw back down. We can lock that in place. And we're going to do the same for the exhaust valve. We're going to set this uh, at 8, which is kind of a happy medium. And got it snug rubbing a bit. And tighten this down the torques and be ready. 
All right, these valves are set correctly. I went over them a number of times, but if you can look real good here, you'll see a little bit of a pop of a compression release, which I wasn't getting before because these things were so loose. And that's the reason why it is so difficult to start. Just a little bit of pop right there, and that will make it much easier to pull. Also give it more power, too, being that it's so off. I think we got it all set. We're going to put it evil twin all back together. This thing has really cleaned this engine, so real happy about that as well. 